Let the heart that seeks the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord in his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Prepare ourselves for this celebration. We call to mind our sins, asking the Lord to help us always, without exception, to follow his teaching, to do the right thing, to forgive us for those times we fail. And so we pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from a letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Grow strong in the Lord with the strength of his power. Put God's armor on so as to be able to resist the devil's tactics. For it is not against human enemies that we have to struggle, but against the submissives and the powers that originate the darkness in this world. The spiritual army of evil in the heavens. That is why you must rely on God's armor, or you will not be able to put up any resistance when the worst happens, or have enough resources to hold down your ground. So stand your ground with the truth buckled round your waist and the integrity for a blessed place wearing for sure on your feet the eagerness to spread the gospel of peace and always carrying the shield of faith so that you can use it to put out the burning arrows of the evil ones. And then you must accept salvation from God to be your helpmate and receive the word of God from the Spirit to use as your sword. Pray all the time, asking for what you need, praying in the Spirit on every possible occasion. Never get tired of staying awake to pray for all the saints, and pray for me to be given an opportunity to open my mouth and speak without fear, and give out the mystery of the gospel, of which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that in proclaiming it, I may speak as boldly as I ought to. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord my rock, Blessed be the Lord, my my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge, 
He brings peoples under my rule. Blessed be the Lord, my Lord. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten strange lute. To you, who give kings their victory, who sets David their servant free. Blessed be the Lord, my Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends out his words to the earth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some Pharisees came up to Jesus. Go away, they said. Leave this place, because Herod means to kill you. He replied, you may go and give that fox this message. Learn that today and tomorrow I cast out devils, and on the third day attain my end. But for day and tomorrow and the next day I must go out, since it will not be right for a prophet to die outside Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you that kill the prophets and stone those who are sent to you, how often have I longed to gather your children as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you refuse. So be it, your house will be left to you, Yes, I promise you, you shall not see me till the time comes when you say, Blessings on him who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Paul tells us, as he was telling the Ephesians, to be strong in the Lord with the strength of his power. Put God's armor on so to be able to resist the devil's tactics. And how do we do this? We do it through prayer, through the receiving of the sacraments. That each and every one of us, we turn to prayer for the strength that the Lord can give us for the love that he shares with us, for the care that he has for us. We can be strong and we can fight off the temptations around us. We ask the Lord to help us. And this we do, as I say, through prayer, through the sacraments, and especially through the sacrament of reconciliation, where we're given the opportunity of letting the Lord know exactly how we feel, and how sorry we are for the many mistakes we make. But we do this through prayer. It's prayer that strengthens our spiritual lives, that strengthens us all to be able to face up to our responsibilities as members of the family of Christ, so that we can be with him at all times. So we pray and ask the Lord for that strength, for that guidance, for the wisdom, asking his Holy Spirit to help us, to strengthen us. And in so doing, we can be sure of a place in God's kingdom. We ask you, Lord, now to listen to our prayers as we pray for the repose of the soul of Joseph Lahane, whose anniversary it is today. We remember his family at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for our leaders, our Pope, our Bishop, Alan, 
our religious, our priests and our deacons, that we all try to be true leaders, to strengthen the faith in each and every one of us. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all those who are suffering with the virus. We're told now there's 100,000 a day catching it in this country. Let us pray that these numbers will drastically disappear and that we can begin to live our normal lives again. Lord, in your mercy. We pray too for the doctors, the nurses, the scientists, the carers, all involved in trying to find a cure for this virus that they will be successful. Pray for those who have the virus. Pray for those who have died. And remember all their families. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for all the young people, that they will try and realize that maybe some of the actions they're doing are not helping and that they can can keep apart a little more than they maybe have been doing over the past couple of months. Lord, in your mercy. And let us pray for all our sick and pray, especially those of our parish and our families. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary to pray with us and for us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for listening to our prayers. Give us the grace and the strength to do your will, that each and every one of us will be with you in your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Bless ye, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself to share in our humanity. Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities. Cleanse us all of our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glories with one voice we acclaim. 
holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by setting down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, but may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. To save his command and form by divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering to God. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in sign we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thank you all very much and have a nice day.